Coming up this month on Roanoke County Today, we celebrate Adoption Month and learn about stream restoration. This and more coming up on RCT. Welcome back to the show. Joining me today is Ben Jones with the Department of Social Services and Teresa Carpenteri, who is a foster adoptive parent, and mm -hmm. she's going to join us today and, and tell us about the process. So welcome to the show, both of you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Um, how did you decide to become a foster parent? Well, in 2010, I had some life-changing experiences. Mm -hmm. um, I became single. I, I lost my job at a Fortune 500 company and my oldest child left the nest and it was very it, it was very different for me so I uh, did some soul searching and said you know what the one thing that I love more than anything is being a mom mm -hmm. and I'm not done I, I have I can I have more mothering to do so mm -hmm. uh, that's when I sought out uh, Rona County Department of Social Services about entering their foster care program okay and how did you meet your daughter, who's now, her name's Symphony. Symphony. How did you meet her and what was that like? Oh my goodness, well, it was, I got the call a week to the day that I finished my pride training classes and mm -hmm. totally freaked out that they were entrusting a child into my care after uh -huh. only completing my classes. Um, the night that she came to my home, it was around 8 p.m. Um, mm -hmm. She came in with her youngest sister. Um, and it, it was scary for me, you know, because I, you know, I never met them, and I didn't know what was going through their head. Um, but she came in, and she had this brilliant, beautiful smile, and I knew right then that everything was going to be okay. Mm -hmm. um, she, she was, you know, she was excited to see all this stuff in my house because it was a new, you know, a new environment, mm -hmm. and coming from a home where she had nothing, it was, it was fun for her for a minute. Mm -hmm. But um, but yeah, she I, her smile was the thing that just drew me into her immediately. Right. How about the relationship? What has that been like? It's interesting because she and I, I think, instantly um, connected the minute she walked mm -hmm. in my door. Um, she has always struggled with her loyalty to me and then her loyalty to her birth mom. Mm -hmm. um, but she and I have always been very close. I think since day one, she would share things with me that she wouldn't share with her social worker or even her therapist. Mm -hmm. And you know, I would have to remind her that, hey, I'm not a therapist, just a mom. Let's mm -hmm. talk about this with someone who has more skill than I do. But it it made me. F it's always made me feel really good that she's confided in me. That she has always trusted me enough to tell me the darkest secrets of her life. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm, I, it, it's, it makes me feel very good. Sure. And so that relationship has grown, so it's changed. What's it like now? Uh, well, now we're a typical mom and teenage daughter. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I, I raised boys um, previously. Um, my, my birth children are boys, so I've never raised a girl. So mm -hmm. that's been interesting because also being a single parent, I'm very protective of her. Mm -hmm. um, I also work for an organization that works for that works with uh, abused children. So, you know, I have my mm -hmm. work environment, and just being a mom of a single mom of a little girl of a girl. Now, um, I'm, I'm really protective of her. But she, sure. bless her heart, she's she's understanding about it. Mm 
Mm -hmm. And uh, I think she kind of likes the fact that she's the only girl. And mm -hmm. mom really throws a lot of stuff at her, good and bad. Right. So, but our relationship is, is very strong. Mm -hmm. okay. um, she wants me to be her best friend, and I have to remind her that I'm not. I'm mom right. first, and my job is to love her and protect her. So, you know, that's, that's where we're at. Mm -hmm. Great. And so what was the adoption, um, or when did you know that adoption was right for you and Symphony? Well, interestingly enough, I did not become a foster parent to adopt. In fact, mm -hmm. I told them during my application process that my goal was not to adopt children. Okay. Um, when Symphony, um, the day that Symphony's mother's rights were terminated, Symphony knew I was going to court that day. Mm -hmm. And she asked me to come pick her up early so that I could tell her about what happened. And, um, and when I told her, she just broke down crying. I think she, she expected it as well mm -hmm. as I did. But, um, but you know, hearing it, hearing it is, is, is something totally different. And, um, and she, you know, she's like, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? And I said, well, I'm here. And mm -hmm. if you want me to, I'll just, I'll be your mom. You don't have to leave me. Mm -hmm. and, and so she said, okay, I don't want to leave. And I said, all right, then this is it. We're here. Mm -hmm. We're staying together. So. <laughs> What's been your favorite part of having her join your family? She is very musical. She brings mm -hmm. a lot of music into my home. Mm -hmm. She's... Um, has a very social, bubbly personality, mm -hmm. and I was not like that at all when I was her age. So it's fun to have her in my house. Right. You know, she she just she she's dancing and singing, and you know she um, smiles all the time. Mm -hmm. And who doesn't want someone around them smiling and singing? It's right. the best thing in the world. Wow. I can see uh, lots of emotion there. It's, it's certainly a good connection between you and, and your daughter. It so. is. Um, so what advice would you give to families who are considering um, being a foster home? I think I would tell people that um, kids don't ask to be brought into this world. And kids only ask to be loved. That's mm -hmm. the only thing a kid wants is to be loved. Mm -hmm. They do need a safe environment. They do need a stable home environment. They need people around them that are positive. But in the end, it, it's just a kid wants to be loved. Mm -hmm. That's it. And so anyone who feels like they have enough love to give, then they need to make the call. They need to make that commitment that hey, I've got lots of love here and, and I want to share it with someone who is going through a rough time. Because mm -hmm. um, in the end, that's what it's all about. Right. It's, just, it's just sharing that, sharing love with a, with a, a kiddo. Mm -hmm. So you came to see uh, Department of Social <laughs> Services. You connected with Ben, I'm sure, right away. And, so Ben, what's, what's it like to hear from a, a parent coming in to foster and then adopt it? It must make you happy. We, um, we love working with families who have the right motivation. Mm -hmm. uh, we really enjoy working with families that have an abundance of love um, and patience. And Ms. Carpentieri is not fully uh, reading her resume as a caregiver because it takes more. Love is, is necessary. It is not sufficient. There are more things, and Teresa and her family have that. Um, but we love working with any family. Um, no foster family looks the same. No child needs the exact same things. So it's, it's, it's fun to do this, and it's fun to hear success stories. Um, oftentimes, success for us is the child goes back with their mom or dad. Um, or uh, can go to live with a relative uh, instead of being with a, a foster care parent. Um, in the situations where mom or dad or a relative are not going to work out, we are really, really proud that most of our foster homes are also adoptive homes. Um, and once a child has been in a home and really made a connection, some of the homes um, that were not initially adoptive homes uh, mm -hmm. rethink that position because of permanency. And permanency mm -hmm. is not just a word for us. It's, it's a true feeling of belonging. and it's. Um, undeniable when it's there 
and um, we're very, very proud of Saint Benigni Miss Carpentry. Uh, one, the one thing Roanoke County is good at um, is we're good at achieving permanency for children. Um, we tend to have uh, multiple adoptions every year. Um, November is adoption month, so we're celebrating mm -hmm. adoptions. Um, we also look forward to reunifying children with their parents and relatives as well. Um, but we, we have two workers whose entire caseload are adoptive children. Um, so we have a strong focus here in Roanoke County and we're eager um, to work with families um, to become foster to adopt. And we do approve families as both. Um, and then if it turns out that permanency cannot be achieved with their family, we're extraordinarily proud. And I think we're pretty good at achieving adoptions for families who are um, ready to be a permanent home for the child in their care. Mm -hmm. It's a good job. It can be tough sometimes, but um, the rewards like, like Ms. Carpentry, I've never heard her story quite like that, um, although I knew it was a good story, and I'm really, really proud to have been a part of that. Great. If people are interested in doing something like this, finding a, a child to bring into their home and provide care for, what's the best way people can get in touch with you? They can call me at my office, 283-8844. Uh, okay. My email is bsjones at roanokecountyva.gov. Um, we have between two and three classes a year. There's mm -hmm. some paperwork up front, and we'd love to talk with you about what it means to start the, uh, the job application process and to work together. Um, it's not easy, nor should it be, but if you have, um, if you're interested, we can help talk you through the whole process. Okay, very good. Thank you both for joining us today. Thank you for sharing your story. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank, Thank you. you. We'll be right back. Surf by the award-winning RVTV.org, the official website for Roanoke Valley Television Channel 3. The site features new content like the Media Center where you can view selected RVTV programming. Also find RVTV's daily lineup, information on RVTV shows, a photo gallery, and even a Notify Me sign up to keep you posted on upcoming RVTV events. It's all at RVTV.org, the official website for government and educational television in the Roanoke Valley. RVTV. Roanoke County has launched a new generation of public geographic information system, GIS, applications that allow greater and easier access to the county's mapping, tax parcel, zoning, and government services data. The new application can be found in the new Maps and Apps Gallery through the county's GIS page. A separate desktop computer application leverages new technology to provide citizens with three-dimensional imagery of the county. Efficient delivery of technology services is a core mission for Roanoke County's GIS services group. To check out the new technology, visit roanokecountyva.gov slash GIS. Have you ever wanted to make a difference in the life of an animal but didn't know how? The Regional Center for Animal Care and Protection is looking for volunteers to assist with the daily care of their animals. Volunteer opportunities include cat socialization, dog walking, front desk or kennel assistant, off-site adoption events, rescue networking, or shelter photography. As a volunteer, your time and talents will make a difference in the life of an animal. For more information on how to become a volunteer, call or email the Regional Center for Animal Care and Protection. Welcome back to Roanoke County today. My name is Brian Klingenpeel and I'm the Community Outreach Coordinator for Roanoke County Fire and Rescue. The weather has changed and fall is here. Winter won't be far behind. I sure do like sitting next to a fireplace on a cold night. However, did you know that home heating is the second leading cause of home fires in Roanoke County? And a lot of that has to do with fireplaces and wood stoves. So if you plan on heating your home this winter with a fireplace or a wood stove, we have some safety reminders for you. Have your chimney cleaned and inspected every year by a qualified professional. They should clean away any built up creosote and check the chimney for cracks in the chimney liner and flue pipe. Make sure the fireplace has a sturdy screen to stop sparks from flying into the room. When removing ashes from the fireplace or stove, they should be completely cool before placing them in a metal container. Then you want to keep that container a safe distance from your home. 
Keep anything that can burn at least three feet away from all heating equipment, like the furnace, space heater, and the fireplace. Remember to turn portable heaters off when going to bed or before leaving the room. If you are heating your home with wood, natural gas, propane, kerosene, or any other kind of fuel, you should install and maintain carbon monoxide alarms to cut down your risk of carbon monoxide poisoning. Also, don't forget to test your smoke alarms at least once a month. I hope that you and your family have a safe and warm fall and winter. If there's anything at all that we can do to help you or your family stay safe, please don't hesitate to call me, Brian Klingenpeel, Community Outreach Coordinator for Roanoke County Fire and Rescue at 777-8718, or you can find us on the web at roanokecountyva.gov slash fire rescue. Roanoke County Today, we'll be right back. Stay up to date with the town of Vinton. Visit VintonVA.gov and sign up for the News Flash, Notify Me, or Emergency Alert features. News Flash will inform users of what's happening in the town, including street closures or water line breaks. With Notify Me, citizens will receive information on activities, events, and even job postings. Emergency Alert can keep you informed in the event of an emergency or disaster in the region. Alerts can be sent to landlines, computers, cell phones, or wireless PDA units. Sign up today and be up to date with the town of Vinton. Emergency plan today. Welcome back to the show. We're out here at beautiful Vineyard Park today talking with County Engineer David Henderson. Welcome to our show. Well, thank you very much. So tell us exactly where we are in Roanoke County right now. Okay, we're located in Vineyard Park, which is located uh, between Vinton and Roanoke City mm -hmm. on the uh, eastern part of Roanoke County. Okay, and there's a special project that's going on right behind us. So give us some background uh, about the project and why was it needed? Okay, well, one of the features of Vineyard Park is Glade Creek, which flows right, right through the park. Mm -hmm. And we've been having some problems with Glade Creek. Uh, we've been having a lot of erosion. Uh, we are having some problems with water quality due to the excessive erosion and also some danger to some of our playing fields where the stream was encroaching in. Okay, and there are soccer fields out here, correct? That's correct. Uh, this is a, a major soccer complex. Okay, all right, so much needed improvements here. What exactly does the project entail? Well, we've got about a half a mile of stream, 2,500 uh, linear feet of stream that uh, flows from Berkeley Road to the upstream edge of the park. And what we're doing is we're using natural stream restoration techniques to uh, improve the stream. Okay, and what is natural stream restoration? Okay, what we're doing is uh, we're cutting the banks back to a more natural condition to provide uh, more floodplain flow area so that when we get high flows, we have less velocities in the stream, which will lead to less erosion. Uh, we're also protecting certain areas using natural stone and uh, natural wood, and then we'll be doing uh, replantings for it. Okay, and how was this project funded? 
Okay, this project was funded 50% uh, from a, a state uh, local assistance uh, grant fund mm -hmm. that the state gives for projects that will improve water quality, and it was funded uh, half with local funds. Okay, and when is the completion date? Well, the project started uh, around the 1st of August, and we expect construction to be complete uh, by the end of this year. Okay, it's not taking a terribly long time, and I know citizens will really be pleased to see this. Mm -hmm. Well, once this is done, it will take a couple years for the trees to grow in, mm -hmm. but uh, once they get in and start work, these kind of projects do not take that much time. Sure, it's going to be beautiful. And does the county planning on doing any other future stream restorations? Well, the state, uh, we are funding these with 50% state money. Uh, there is another application due to the state uh, January, February of next year, and we will be submitting for additional projects. Uh, so we do, we do hope and anticipate to do more, but uh, it's subject to, to uh, obtaining future funding. Very good. Thank you so much for sharing all of this information with us. I know this will be a, a welcome sight for many visitors and citizens nearby. So thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. We'll be right back. Have you ever wanted to find a book, read the latest issue of a magazine, or do research at your local library on a Sunday? Well, now you can. Our South County and Vinton libraries are now open from 1 to 5 on Sunday afternoons. This means that you'll have access to our extensive collection of books, DVDs, and audiobooks, as well as our library's many computers and, of course, our friendly, helpful staff. We want to be part of your Sunday afternoons. For more information, contact the South County or Vinton Libraries. Morning, Gary. We are GetSchooled.com. You want a college education, don't you? You know you do. Uh, yeah, but I don't know where to start. That's why we're here. We're free, handsome. Oh, I think we're breathtaking. And here to guide you through every step of the way, starting with attendance. <laughs> Gary, financial aid forms. Biology homework, G. What? I got this. <coughs> Is that brand? <laughs> Colleges love extracurricular activities. Well, uh, chess really isn't my thing. I got this. Doesn't matter. Go ahead. Picking a college, man. You and us we go together like tacos and Tuesday. And I love tacos. Fire and ice. Those don't really go together. Go to GetSchool.com for more info. Stay up to date with the town of Vinton. Visit VintonVA.gov and sign up for the Newsflash, Notify Me, or Emergency Alert features. Newsflash will inform users of what's happening in the town, including street closures or water line breaks. With Notify Me, citizens will receive information on activities, events, and even job postings. Emergency Alert can keep you informed in the event of an emergency or disaster in the region. Alerts can be sent to landlines, computers, cell phones, or wireless PDA units. Sign up today and be up to date with the town of Vinton. Roco Alert is running Roanoke County's new citizen alert and warning system. In the event of a local emergency or disaster, Roanoke County will contact all landline telephones in the county's 911 database with any important information and instructions you need to know. To receive notifications from Roco Alert via email, on your cell phone, or VoIP phone, you'll need to set up an online account. There's no cost for citizens to sign up, but phone usage or text charges may apply. Go to RoanokeCountyVA.gov slash Roco Alert and sign up today. It is, and we are so excited. You know, the county Christmas tree lighting is one of my favorite events. It's just so beautiful, and families get together, and we can celebrate in the old-fashioned way, you know, with a tree lighting and Christmas carols and fireside chats with Santa and light refreshments and wonderful, wonderful activities for the children and crafts. And it's a wonderful time for families to get together and welcome in the holiday season. This year it's going to be on Monday, December 5th, and we're doing it in conjunction with the libraries, and it will be at the South County Library, which we are going to transform this year into a winter wonderland. Well, some of them are going to be surprises, because you know we love to have a few surprises for the public, 
but actually where you're going to sit and have a fireside chat with Santa, we are going to decorate, and as I said, it's going to look just like a winter wonderland. You know, a white Christmas tree, snowflakes. I mean, it's just, you're gonna be in the North Pole and you won't even have to leave Roanoke. Right, there's going to be Christmas caroling right before we light the tree, and that's gonna be led by the uh, Penn Forest Elementary School Ask Program. We will also have light refreshments once the, once the lighting of the tree is complete. We will also have craft activities inside the library, and as I said, also a few, a few surprises for folks. We're going to have um, some groups out to entertain, and it's just going to be a lovely, lovely family evening. Oh, we did, and we are looking for a very special guest this year that will fit the theme once again of the Winter Wonderland. So yes, you can be on the lookout. It'll be Monday, December 5th from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the South County Library. And all of the activities, all of the events, everything is going to be totally open and free to the public. This is who I am. I can't do it alone. I'm a good person and the truth is I break the law. I ignore what my parents taught me and I thought everything they said was a joke. No longer can it be said that I am my own person. I'll tell you one thing for sure. I've become a slave to the drinking crowd. I refuse to accept that I can be confident in myself and be popular without beer or drugs. A person like me can easily be forgotten. But wait, what if that's all wrong? What if I don't have to be forgotten? A person like me can easily be popular without beer or drugs. I can be confident in myself, and I refuse to accept that I've become a slave to the drinking crowd. I'll tell you one thing for sure. I am my own person. No longer can it be said that I thought everything they said was a joke. I ignore what my parents taught me and I break the law. The truth is, I'm a good person. I can't do it alone. This is who I am. Have you ever had an emergency? Immediately, you call 911, and for that instant, all you can do is put your life in the hands of the men and women who come to save the day. As an EMT, you step into that world and make a huge impact in the lives of people who need help. As an EMT, you could be the one person who could change a life forever. This is the mission of the Vinton First Aid Crew. The Vinton First Aid Crew is looking for volunteers who would like to help with their community. Some of the benefits of becoming a volunteer include training opportunities, working in an amazing building with up-to-date technology, having a flexible schedule, become part of the active competition team, volunteer incentives for future jobs, and more. For more information on becoming a volunteer with the Vinton First Aid Crew, call 540-983-0641, send an email to volunteer at VintonEMS.com, or you can visit their website at VintonEMS.com. Com. Are you an active senior looking to do something new and exciting? The Town of Vinton's Active Senior Adult Program offers game playing, classes, day trips and overnight tours, craft making, potluck luncheons, line dancing, and Tai Chi instruction. The center is located at 820 Washington Avenue, adjacent to the Vinton War Memorial Building. Contact Penny Byer at 540-983-0643 for additional information, or just drop by the Charles R. Hill Senior Center for a visit. The South County Library is now a designated passport acceptance facility. Passport applications are taken by appointment during these hours only, Monday through Saturday, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m., and Monday and Tuesday evening, 6 to 8 p.m. For more information or to schedule an appointment, call the South County Library at 540-777-8782. Details are also located on the County Library website, roanokeountyva.gov forward slash passports. <laughs> 